my daddy is robot. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Cybertronian Beast, and let's talk Transformers. Today we're taking a look at a TFCon 2013 exclusive. This is Heroic Gobits Vanguardian. Now yeah, this is from last year's TFCon, but I never got around to reviewing it, and and, and basically, I, I had already reviewed the original iGear one, so eh, the, there wasn't a lot of interest there. But uh, now that I, now that I've a lot of time has passed, and and TFCon 2014 is approaching, I'm I'm kind of getting a little bit more excited about it and breaking out my TFCon stuff again. So here we are with Vanguardian from 2013's TFCon, and yes, he is uh, a uh, an homage to the Gobot Vanguard. So he is molded off of the iGear hench mold. And let's take a look at the box here. Obviously, it's uh, TFCon exclusive packaging. The art on it is done by Silas Z, which uh, I met at TFCon and I got him to sign the box. So there it is there. Um, let's take a look at the rest of the packaging here. There he is on the back. Uh, a same art there, uh, a little bit of a bio, so if you'd like to read that, go ahead. The TFCon bios are, are pretty cool, so, you know, uh, by all means, um, take a pause and, and read that. And uh, back to the front here. So let's get this guy open and take a look at him, shall we? Okay, so here is Vanguardian out of the box, and you may notice that I have gone ahead and added the uh, Repro Labels sticker sheet that was made for him. It just makes him look a little bit more like Vanguard from the GoBots. Uh, this was a double sticker sheet, so here it is here. Um, this was stickers that would make... Vanguardian look uh, better as well as the other exclusive uh, Roswell and I didn't go ahead and get Roswell I really wasn't fond of it so I still have the stickers for Roswell so if anybody out there went and got Roswell and doesn't have Vanguardian and wants some stickers for them get in touch with me and uh, I can uh, I can hook you up so because this is useless to me anyway uh, he does come with the exact same weapon that all hench figures have come with, the sawed-off shotgun. This one is black with gray, as opposed to the others, which are typically gray with black. So, anyway. Here is my hench figure. Uh, this one, my hench figure, is the uh, comic colors hench figure. So, there is the hench weapon that I have gray with black as opposed to the Vanguardian black with gray. Anyway, so that's enough of that. So we'll get those out of the way. Oh, you stay there. Um, so the figure itself is identical to the other hench figures. Um, but the stickers really do make it uh, look a lot better. Um, a really interesting touch was the license plate that you could put on the, the front TFCon 2013 and you could come around the back and put another TFCon 2013 plate on the back. I really liked that. So anyway, um, getting into the transformation, it's the same, please. It's always going to be the same. Let's flip up the windows here. One and two. And then we can disengage the legs here. We'll bring the legs down around like so. And then we will fold them over each other. Kind of like this, yep. Yeah. The legs are done very cleverly. Um, and I do, I do appreciate the engineering that they did with them. But they're a pain in the butt sometimes. Let's get that, and then fold this one. Uh, 
Now we can lift this these wings up a bit and we'll pull out the arms. And lift the shoulders up to a shoulder height. And we'll put this all back together here, folding that there, folding that back under, rebuilding the the truck top here for Vanguard. Give him his gun. Alright, so there he is. There is Vanguard, uh, the 2013 TFCon exclusive, or one of them, and he looks pretty good. I like him. The The Repro Label sticker sheet really does add a lot to him, so if you are if you do have him and you didn't get the sticker sheet, really, you should get that sticker sheet. It does a, a lot of good work. Um, so, yeah, look, look at that. Uh, he does still have the second face that Hench has on the back of his of his head um, and it looks horrible it really does it looks horrible so I would highly recommend not using that and here's Hench so yeah they look really good if you have any questions about TFCon 2013 Vanguardian please leave a question or comment in the YouTube thread here. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, please do. Just follow at CybertronBeast. If you'd like to check out my Facebook page, uh, just search Cybertronian Beast on Facebook. Click like, and all the stuff I post will come directly to you. By all means, please check out the podcast that I'm on. Me and three other awesome Transformers fans got together, started doing a podcast, and it comes out every Tuesday. You can find it at www.transmissionspodcast.com. Also on Stitcher, also on uh, iTunes, also on TuneIn Radio. It's all over the place. And uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel here. If you like what you see, uh, definitely subscribe and uh, you'll see a lot more. There's a lot of stuff coming. Movie toys, more Generations figures, lots of stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Cybertronian Beast and I will talk to you later.